Sonic Mania is here forever, so let's talk about it. When this game first got announced, it blew everyone away because hey, it's actually classic Sonic, not modern in 2D, not weird 3D classic, but actual Genesis Golden Age Sonic in his own title. There was absolutely no reason not to be hyped for it unless you just don't like the classics. From my perspective, it was the much needed game to get Sonic back on his feet and completely obliterate Sonic 4. Sonic Tails and Knuckles are here from the start, the old physical are back, there was no way this wasn't going to be at least good. Sonic 3 & Knuckles, commonly referred to as the best Sonic game, is the only other classic game to do this. If any game is building from that masterpiece, then we got something special. Now that was 2016, here we are 2017. The game is finally out, which means we have another major Sonic game to talk about from here on out. I haven't 100%ed the game or anything, but I've played all the stages, enough of the special and extra stages, and this video will just be sort of a first impressions kind of deal. Is that cool? Alright, so I'm just going to be straight up with you guys. Sonic Mania is fantastic, and it feels so great to say that. Is it the best Sonic game ever? And no, I think 3 & Knuckles is the better game, but Mania has tons of positives going for it. Upon playing it, I was instantly happy, not because I was in Green Hill, but because the control, look, and sound, everything just felt right. That's how you can summarize the entire presentation Mania brings. It feels right. Everything from the menus to the color palettes, it's a very vibrant game and really makes me want to see the older games in this style. I wasn't sure how to feel about Sonic's light-colored sprite when the game first got revealed, but I like it a lot in-game. It's also one of the most stylish games in the series. This game has a ton of personality. You see that from the boss fights, cutscenes, and definitely the opening animation. Probably the best one in the series. Yeah, I like it way more than Unleashed, sorry guys. Sonic Riders always had my favorite one and still might be my favorite, but it's tough with this Mania one existing now. So props to the creators on that, in fact props to everyone involved with this game. Before I continue on with this, let me just say that for a fandom that constantly gets hated on for being weird and demanding, they came through and made one of the best games in the entire series on their first try. Also one of the best soundtracks, I haven't even talked about the game yet, but my god. When people were praising Sonic Runners' soundtrack, calling it a return to form, this is so Sonic. Sonic, I can only disagree. No offense, but to me it sounded like royal free guitar music that came straight out of a proactive commercial. All over. That body wash is amazing. Now I can wear tank tops. I can wear bathing suits. Sonic Mania gave me music that I haven't loved this much since SA2. That's a long time, and part of it has to do with it just sounding Sonic to me. And I'm not just talking about the remix stages. The original ones are top notch as well, and rightfully so, the best songs in the game, in my opinion. They're fresh, they have tons of character, they're layered, addicting, and fit the environments perfectly. In fact, the music is so good, they actually got this thing pressed on vinyl. Something I've been wanting from Sonic for years. I was one of the people advocating this on Twitter last year, so you're welcome, guys. Because of me, and only me, we now have Sonic on wax. Even though I'm definitely not the reason we do. I doubt I had anything to do with that. Easily some of the best Sonic music I've heard in a while. I'm not calling the modern soundtracks bad, but Mania is just on another level for me, and I'm so happy it exists. Now let's actually talk about the game. Overall, the main criticisms you're going to hear with Sonic Mania, especially throughout the years where people are comparing it to other games in the series, is it's not the most original game out there. Many people are going to view this game as a classic Sonic Remix collection rather than a legit title that can even compete for the top spot. In a lot of ways, it's like a classic Sonic Generations. And it's not very easy to disagree because yeah, the biggest issue I have with Mania is that I'm replaying levels I didn't care or want to replay. They aren't bad stages and do add some turns to make things fresh and entertaining, but it's still Flying Battery, it's still Green Hill, for some reason Oil Ocean made it. Oil Ocean of all stages, who missed that? But what I like are the curveballs, I was eagerly waiting to see what differences Mania would bring in each remix stage. I certainly couldn't wrap my head around Chemical Plants Boss as it was so absurd that I couldn't hate it. I also love when the stages switch up the backgrounds. Flying Battery Act 2 is fantastic, and the boss is really fun. As I said, I wasn't a fan of Oil Ocean returning, but it was pretty damn cool. I like how they made the fire shield react with the surroundings. It was mad creative and made for a great stage. The only one I didn't care for at all was Metallic Madness. It just felt there and annoyed me the whole time. It's not like it was difficult, it was just, alright, another stage. I didn't like it in CDs, certainly didn't care for it in Mania, I wish it were another stage instead. In fact, another worry I had was the stage selections. To be completely honest, on paper, I didn't like 
the stages picked. Nearly every remix level is a stage I didn't care for originally, even fan favorites like Chemical Plant, Hydro City, and Lava Reef. I was so weirded out by the fact that all of the picks were stages I'd never felt like playing. Thankfully, Mania makes them more interesting, so I gotta give them props there. Hands down, my favorite part of Mania were the new stages. If you saw my Wish video, I wanted a much larger amount, but we only got four. That's, that's fine. Mania is long enough to sort of justify this, but man, when you play these stages, they're so engaging and blew me away on first play. I couldn't tell you my in-depth reaction to playing Studiopolis, which is easily my favorite stage in the game. It's flashy, feel Sonic as hell, with the music reminding me of adventure so much, and it feels so Sonic 4. What I mean is if 3 Knuckles were to ever get a Saturn or Genesis sequel back in the 90s, I feel like Studiopolis would be the next thing. Think about it, Sonic 2 had Casino Night, Sonic 3 had Carnival Night, and a large, flashy, Hollywood studio setting would be the next step, I feel. And again, not to take anything away from the remix stages, but it's moments like this that really makes me want the entire game to be like this. Mania isn't calling itself Sonic 4, but it definitely would be if each stage were new like this. Because of that, I kind of walked away from Mania feeling teased. Like, the potential to make an all-new classic game is right there. I can't stress how perfect the stage is, and the other three don't disappoint either. Press Garden looks and sounds amazing. Honestly, wasn't too into the bounce gimmick, it controlled weird at times. But again, great stage, only made me want more new environments. Mirage Saloon, fantastic stage. Second favorite in the game, the aesthetic, I love that sky. And this was the stage I, where I completely lost it. And if you played it, you know exactly why. Finished one act and got attacked by freaking bark the polar bear what i paused the game in disbelief because I, I was in denial that happened and yes i freaked out even harder when fang and bean appeared as well outside of studiopolis it was my favorite part of the game i've expressed my love for fang before so yeah it may not actually be the real characters, which is pretty disappointing because I like the idea of them being antagonists or rivals, but the cameo was great. I just love how this game alters Sonic history in so many cool ways. Now these characters are in another game, kind of. Freaking Splats, remember this guy? If you don't, it's a Batnik that was scrapped from Sonic 1, never appearing in anything. Is here in Press Garden, just, just there. Just casually as a Batnik that you can destroy in this game. I've been a fan for so long, so things like this just makes me overly happy. It's great. Titanic Monarch was a stage that had interesting gimmicks, was definitely annoying on first play, but like every stage, it's not hard after a few tries. The boss angered me every time since I came over it here three whole times, but solid stage nonetheless. Sort of like Press Garden, I didn't get the hang of the spin jump gimmick right away and felt so weird to control for me at first. I'm aware that it was also in Sonic 3, but I never play the bonus stages, ever. Hardest zone in the game, definitely, as it should be. I haven't touched on the special stages yet, but thankfully they are very much new. Visually, they're the best in the series, and just gimmick-wise, they're probably my favorite. I'm not too great at them, but I typically suck at special stages anyway, so it's not really a big deal for me if they were bad. Competitive mode returned, so that's great. One of the things I hoped for. I'm so glad Knuckles has his own stage design and cutscenes. Really makes for great replay value. In fact, I'm glad Knuckles is even in the game. Guys, we're playing as Knuckles in a new Sonic title. Should have been a thing years ago, but here we are and it's great. There's a story I did not understand at all, and yeah, that's really all I want to say for Sonic Mania. The game is fantastic, anyone could have predicted that, which is really strange for a Sonic game. Since I started this channel, there hasn't really been a widely well-received Sonic title to release. For longtime subscribers, you gotta think about this. The first big game I covered was Sonic Lost World. After that, you already know where I'm going. It just feels great to speak about a great Sonic game for once. And I'm so thrilled that everyone is enjoying Mania. I can't stress how great of a job the creators did at capturing the fundamentals of Sonic pretty much flawlessly. As I said, I don't think Mania is a perfect game, I don't think it's the best game, but it's certainly top tier. I wouldn't even argue with anyone for thinking it's the best. Mania has tons of style, man. It's like everything cool and unique from CD mixed with the tight gameplay and feel of the classic trilogy. It's going to be a lot of people's favorite Sonic game, which is a great thing. If the fans could do this, I would love to see some talented fans try a 3D title. That's that's probably a naive comment, but hey, it took fans to save Sonic's reputation, so again, major props there. Hope these guys are here to stay because they obviously know what they're doing. Sonic Mania is thankfully engraved in Sonic history and also video game history. So let me know what you guys think of the game if you've already played it. 
Oh, it feels good. I'm glad Mania exists. I'm really glad. God, I'm like sweating. I've recorded in my room. It's a fucking hot.